Hey guys, so this video is mainly for beginners or people that are uh, new to ketosis. And this is entitled Healthy Ketosis Acceptable Food List. I put a link down below of a document that you can download and print out of all the foods that are acceptable on a healthy keto plan. Okay, so that way you can have everything in one document. I'm just going to summarize um, what's in this document, but when you print it out, you'll see the details. All right, so you're going to see a list of types of fats, uh, nuts and seeds, different proteins. And realize when you eat food, the fats and protein are usually combined together. You're not going to see a pure fat or a pure protein. Okay, organ meats, um, fish, seafood, veggies, fruits, berries, liquids, vegan proteins, and vegan fats. So that'll be actually be in this document. Your carbs are going to be between 20 grams to 50 grams per day, not per meal, per day. Now, as far as vegetables go, I'm not counting the vegetables in this equation. That's extra. When you consume vegetables, people want to know, is it going to be raw? Is it going to be cooked? I'm going to recommend you do half and half. Now, when I recommend vegetables, I usually recommend seven to 10 cups, but I'm not recommending 10 cups of Brussels sprouts, for example. What I'm talking about is if you were going to consume a full 10 cups, that would probably be of like salad or leafy greens, not even necessarily spinach because that's high in a chemical called oxalates. But I'm talking about leafy greens, romaine lettuce, that type of thing. But if you have a salad, let's say uh, six cups or five cups, and then you have some cooked or steamed or stir fried cruciferous like Brussels sprouts or uh, broccoli or asparagus, those types of vegetables, then that would be good because when you cook certain vegetables, you enhance the bioavailability of certain nutrients, okay? Yet when you consume vegetables raw, you have other types of nutrients that are higher because heat does destroy certain nutrients. So we're just gonna do 50-50. I like the combination of raw leafy greens and then some uh, steamed cruciferous or cooked cruciferous vegetables. That seems to work. Now, as far as fruits go, that's basically gonna be limes or lemons. That's your fruit. Berries, so I'm gonna give you a list on what berries you can consume, but of course, you just have to make sure we don't go over these uh, this range right here. Uh, I'm going to talk about the acceptable liquids and the acceptable vegan proteins and fat that you can consume. But we really want to make sure the quality is there. And I'm talking about like eggs, for example, you want to pasture raised organic, uh, not necessarily just free range, you know, natural eggs. We want pasture raised organic where the chickens are out there in the grass uh, consuming some of that uh, food. When we talk about fish, wild caught. When we talk about meats, we want grass fed, preferably organic if you can get it as well. Now, as far as the quantity, we talked about that right through here. And then bioavailability. For example, if you're gonna consume organ meats, you're gonna get a much better quality of active vitamin A and bioavailable iron and other minerals and even trace minerals compared to certain vitamins like in vegetables. Like for example, the vitamin A in vegetables is more like a pre-vitamin A that has to be converted. But then again, vegetables are high in other nutrients like folate and vitamin C, for example. So I included in this list the healthy foods in a ketogenic diet because sometimes when you do a ketogenic diet, they might allow you to have low carb uh, ingredients that are actually not very healthy, okay? So this list might be slightly different than other lists that you've seen when searching about keto. So click the link below, download it, print it out, and that way you'll have the reference of exactly what you should eat and what you should not eat. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?